So for 20, we're going to do a mini project. Um, it's a side scroller game where something comes at you across the screen and you jump over it. Um, this is the example that they have for you. This is a frog and you get health by eating the flies, but you've got to avoid the mushrooms. They take away points or you don't get health from them. You get points for them. Sorry. You get a point for each fly, but you cannot touch the Mushroom. Now, if I touch the mushroom enough times, I'm going to let it go. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Game is over. Okay. So that is, um, I want you to play it a couple of times to see what it's about. Whoops. It only uses the up arrow and I keep messing it up anyway. <laughs> That's funny. Up. Oh. All right, so you have a sheet in Google Classroom. It looks like this. It says Project Guide Side Scroller. I'm going to make a copy. Do not do this. This is me making a copy so that I have one to show you. And you're going to decide if you want to uh, create a whole new game or the exact one that was there. So you play it a couple of times and then you're going to make one similar or change it to fit your pre preference. So things to keep the same. Um, jumping to collect an item, I'm going to do that. Item. Um, avoiding a scrolling item. I'm going to keep that, but I'm going to change my images. So instead of a frog and a fly and a mushroom, I'm going to keep it pretty similar, but I'm going to do um, main character as a cat item to collect is <laughs> flying mouse. They're not real, but I'm going to make them. Um, item to avoid is a dog. Um, I think one part of the program, I might not be sure how to do it when I look at how it runs in the beginning on this level is if I think about the up arrow, how does it know when to come back down and how does it stay right? there like how does it not keep going down because every example we did before it kept going down so how to recreate the frog jumping physics I'm gonna say or animation so how to make that happen I'm not quite sure about that and then it has three sprites my choice instead of the frog is gonna be the cat the obstacle is the dog Oops down dog and my target is going to be a mouse wow it really doesn't want to go down here um, I'm getting these images right from um, code.org so I'm going to look in here if I go back to the animation there is a cat right here Brown cat is the name of that one. Brown cat. The dog's name is Dalmatian. And I didn't spell that right. The mouse is mouse. I like the mouse because he has that little animation to him. Um, my background, it wants you to draw what you think you're going to do for your background. I think what I'm going to do is um, like an inside of the house scene. So I'm going to pick like a carpeting color right here and I'm going to do or maybe hardwood floor. I don't know. If I want to do hardwood floor, I could do like little planks of wood in different colors, which would make it a little bit more challenging for me. We'll do like two different colors like that and then um, a wall in the background and 
I will paint that wall. I don't know. Nobody paints their walls purple, but I'm going to. And then I'm just going to add a picture in the background of mine. I think that'll be cool. And I'm going to do something neat with this. I'm going to do a picture here. And in that picture, I'm actually going to grab a sprite and put it on there. But I just have to find something funny. So, um... I'm just going to grab a regular picture here, select it, put it in there, just to be silly, because I can do what I want, right? So that's a simple drawn background, simple shapes. Um, cool. That's what I want for my background, okay? Um, I don't think I'm going to change anything about the way they interact with each other. So I'm going to say no. And now I'm going to try to program this. So I'm just going to save this first video as the planning your sheet. So if you want to change something, like maybe you want to add another thing for them to collect or another obstacle to come across the screen, or maybe you want them to rotate when they move, whatever it is you would put in this sprite movement and or interaction.